The Deaf Education Program at the University of Science and Arts represents one of Oklahoma's most valuable degree programs and one of the school's most unique education opportunities. The students who graduate from the department are considered highly qualified. It means that they're able to teach in deaf education pre-K through 12th grade or they can teach in regular education, early childhood, elementary, or secondary. So they're qualified to teach pretty much wherever they want to. Our students are very marketable. There's a real shortage of teachers for deaf children, not just in Oklahoma, but countrywide. And so and we're the only um, state-supported university in Oklahoma to offer this program. Deaf Education Teacher Preparation Coordinator Judy Bronner explains that the department has been preparing teachers for the unique challenges that exist in specialized deaf classrooms since its establishment. We've been here since 1945. Um, one of the first to be founded west of the Mississippi. Um, it, of course, like all other kinds of education, most things started on the East Coast, but we were one of the earliest to to bloom in this part of the country. Not only does the program offer unique and exciting opportunities for university students, but it also shares facilities with a specialized deaf education preschool. It's a satellite school that the Oklahoma School for the Deaf operates. Um, currently it's just a preschool, but they're hoping to expand up to third grade, and this school serves deaf and hard of hearing children in the surrounding areas. Although it's run by the Oklahoma School for the Deaf, it's it, serves as, as a lab school for our program also. And we're all housed in the same building now. The building, Canning Hall, was renovated just to be a deaf education building. So we have a, the preschool downstairs and the college students upstairs. Canning Hall, the program's current home, was built in 1935 as a dormitory for the Oklahoma College for Women. Its function changed over the years, and in 2008, the building was redesigned to house the USAO Deaf Education Department along with the Oklahoma School for the Deaf Satellite Program. The school was recently renamed in honor of the Jane Brooke School for the Deaf, which was housed on the campus from 1953 to 1970. All of this is new to Shaylee Kimbrough, a recent transfer student to USAO who was drawn in by the Deaf Ed Department. Just everything about it was so appealing to me, so I decided to transfer. There's not many Deaf Ed departments in any school. Um, just my ultimate goal is to go into deaf ministry. I just feel like it's my calling. Um, not many are out there. One USAO deaf ed major, Mary Rios, was recently crowned Miss Deaf Oklahoma. Mary, a senior deaf education major from Lawton, transferred after seeing what the USAO deaf education program had to offer. Whether giving future teachers important experience working with ASL or providing deaf and hard of hearing students a community in which to learn, USAO's Deaf Education Department is the product of a decades old legacy that has touched countless lives. The program fits in perfectly as part of the university's wide and growing range of educational opportunities. <laughs>